Yamaha is celebrating their 50th anniversary in the snowmobile business this year. On this week's episode, we're going to take a look at where Yamaha came from, what they've accomplished and achieved in their 50 years, and where they might be headed in the future. Yamaha were the third major Japanese motorcycle manufacturer. And this early film of one of their factories shows the technology and semi-automatic assembly lines. Going back to Yamaha's early days in this industry, you'll find a motorcycle company with exceptional engine manufacturing capability launching into a marketplace which had no roots in the company's country of origin. In fact, even today, of all the power sports products Yamaha builds, snowmobiles are probably the most different products they manufacture. In the 60s, when Yamaha entered the snowmobiz, the competition was enormous. At that time, there was as many as 120 different OEMs fighting over what would ultimately become a 1 million unit business. Obviously, Yamaha had a lot of advanced technology for that time in history, which had been developed primarily for the motorcycle industry. The company's two-stroke engines were bulletproof, reliable, and outperformed the competition. There was one piece of technology which Yamaha used to set their motorcycles apart from the competition that the snowmobiz had never seen before. What was that technology? Automatic oil injection for two-stroke engines. Moving into the 70s and 80s, Yamaha became synonymous with impeccable build quality. In fact, the company produced such high-quality snowmobiles, they were literally without comparison. Never-seen-before technology was infused in the Yamaha snowmobile lineup. Features including gas shocks, molded rubber tracks, long travel rear suspension systems, CDI ignition, match die molded fiberglass body parts, and the expanded use of aluminum throughout their snowmobiles was Yamaha's exclusive turf. I remember expounding on the pages of Supertrax magazine how Yamaha snowmobiles were so advanced they literally defied comparison. If there was a definitive snowmobile which propelled Yamaha to full credibility in the snowmobile industry, it was the Enticer series of sleds, debuted in 1978. They thoroughly and completely outperformed the competition. What really separates the Yamahas from the competition are their remarkable speed and round-trip reliability. As the 70s turned into the 80s, Yamaha needed the next step to keep their customers coming back to showrooms. The next step arrived in 1984 in the form of the now legendary Yamaha Phaser. The snowmobile earned the nickname Darth Vader for its futuristic looks. Powered by a 52 horsepower fan-cooled engine, the Phaser sold like ice cream on a hot day, and it continued to define Yamaha snowmobiles throughout the 1980s. In the early 90s, Yamaha struggled with a product line based on the TSS, telescopic strut front suspension, first seen on the Phaser. While the industry went crazy for Indy triples, Yamaha then debuted the SX series using trailing arms and two-stroke triples. If you have a taste for excitement on the performance cutting edge, your snowmobiles have arrived. Focused, uncompromising, high-performance hardware from Yamaha. In as much as the SX Yamahas were much closer to the mainstream than anything the company had built in over a decade, there was something brewing in Hamamatsu which would literally change the sport of snowmobiling. During the years Yamaha was building two-stroke powered snowmobiles, Pretty much every other power sport product the company manufactured was moving rapid fire to four-stroke power. Rumblings of a Yamaha four-stroke snowmobile began to surface by Y2K. Then it happened. In model year 2003, Yamaha dropped the equivalent of a Moab, the mother of all bombs, with the all-in, full-on, melodious and powerful RX-1 four-stroke. Building the first production, widely marketed four-stroke snowmobile is indelibly etched on Yamaha's 50-year reputation. The RX-1 represented not just a shoehorning of a giant four-cylinder four-stroke engine into an existing chassis, but a move to a fully integrated double A-arm cast bulkhead platform using the tunnel top to cool a beautiful rear exiting four into two tuned exhaust system. The technology the company developed for this all new sled was staggering and the response from the market was immediate. Yamaha continued to intro four-stroke models and engines, ultimately eliminating two-strokes from their brochure. Sales were good through the mid-00s as the company gained credibility and loyalty with their four-stroke program. By the end of the 00s, the entire snowmobile industry was struggling to respond to the Skidoo Rev and Rev XP platforms 
introduced rapid fire immediately after the RX-1 and the next generation Apex. Clearly, the pressure was on the other OEMs to introduce updated chassis to counter pressure Skidoo put on the industry. What happened next was truly remarkable. In 2013, Yamaha entered into a cooperative production agreement with Arctic Cat, bolting Yamaha engines into modified Thief River Falls snowmobiles branded as Yamahas. As we now look ahead to the third decade of the new millennium, it appears pretty obvious Yamaha will continue to produce some of the world's most potent, high-performance snowmobile engines, like the new 180 horsepower 998 Turbo Triple. However, it would also appear increasingly obvious Yamaha will continue to work, and possibly in a substantially larger way, with Arctic Cat to develop made-in-America snowmobile technology using legendary Yamaha engines. If you enjoyed the video that you just watched, like it and then subscribe to our page for more great content from Snowtracks TV.